There are few games out there that are as relaxing, as enjoyable, and as utterly charming as the farming simulator that took the gaming world by storm, Stardew Valley. Since its release in early 2016, millions of hours have been put into the game from people who were drawn in by the fun farming gameplay, the likable characters, and the surprising depth that the game has. But even with as popular as it is, there are things that people have overlooked in this fantastic game. So here are 10 things you missed in Stardew Valley. When you start the game and are creating your character, have a good long look at hair number 19. Its odd shape is a subtle reference to the moon, just a fun little nod at the sci-fi nature of this space adventure game. The opening cutscene is a surprisingly emotional farewell to your grandfather, but look at this on the wall. That's what's known as the Shrugging Cross, the symbol of the religion apathonoxticism, meaning that Grandpa may or may not feel kinda eh about the whole God thing. Grandpa's letter is the deed to a farm in Stardew Valley, but that's not what it always was. In a 10 Things You Missed exclusive, we can confirm that in the original draft of the game, the letter just contained the head of Gwyneth Paltrow. Neat! Sure, your farm may seem like a mess to start, but that was deliberate. You see, the true message of Stardew Valley is that chaos is the only absolute in the universe, and you should embrace it by living in your yard and subsisting on farm grass. The townspeople in Stardew Valley are as utterly charming as the game itself, but here's a fun little fact about the museum curator, Gunther. He's actually a hologram, sent to Stardew Valley by a mysterious AI that is collecting artifacts to power itself up for a mysterious goal. Ain't that something? There's nothing more satisfying than helping out a townsperson in need, but did you know that if you ignore these help-wanted missions for too long, you get this special in-game message directly from the developer himself. Giving the locals presents is always fun, but be careful, if you give the wrong person a daffodil, they will immediately succumb to daffodil madness, a terrifying and viciously contagious disease that sends them into a violent, flower-filled rage. The community center is of course the main goal of Stardew Valley, but did you know that the Junimos that you are helping are in fact a race of sentient miniature beanbag chairs, bent on dominating the planet by making everyone really comfortable. Who doesn't love relaxing after a long day of farming with the arcade machines at the Star Drop Saloon? But here's a tip, if you bring exactly 39 stone and play the arcade machine, you get to play this unknown mysterious third game. What is it? Who knows, but see if you can get the high score. There are so many characters that you can potentially marry in Stardew Valley, but believe it or not, by digging through the game's code, 10 Things You Missed, discover that there is actually a correct character to court and marry, and that character is here. This is your ideal partner, but you can't have her. She's mine and mine alone. I love you, sweetie. So now you know a little bit more about one of the most pleasant and engrossing games to be released in years, and with even more content being patched in in the coming months, we're sure that there will be no shortage of things to find around Pelican Town. So keep on farming, and see what you can dig up. And until next time, happy gaming! Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more regular gaming content, including new episodes of Dollar Store Gaming, Game Boy Roulette, and 10 Things You Missed. Thanks again, I'm Brian J, and I will see you next time.